I, I think my landlady colleagues are so that it can be fast. I don't want people to knock, knock me. My landlady <laughs> friend can. <laughs> my landlady friend can do hard. Let him do his 10 minutes, then he can do his 10 minutes. Thank you, Thank you very kindly, uh, my lords, my lady. I'll only highlight a few issues which are legal. I'll move from Article 1 of the Constitution of Lordships. That Article 1 has created organs of government. Among them is the organ of the judiciary. And it has clearly provided your lordship that the people of Kenya, in the exercise of their sovereignty, they have delegated their powers to those organs. In this case, the power under Article 165, Clause 4, is exclusively delegated to the Chief Justice. Your Lordship in administrative law, we all right that a person who enjoys delegated powers cannot further delegate those particular powers. In this case, in this circumstance, Your Lordship, it is not known to the petitioners under what circumstances the Chief Justice may have delegated these powers to the Deputy Chief Justice. It is our humble submission, Your Lordship, that the powers and the functions under Article 165, Clause 4 are not capable of being delegated. Further to that, Your Lordship, you see claim under Article 159 of the Constitution, which provides that, Your Lordship, the judicial power is derived from the people and shall be exercised by the courts and tribunals established by this constitution for and on behalf of the people. That article again clearly indicates that this power under Article 165 Clause 4 is not capable of being delegated. How about your lordship? In the Constitution, Your Lordship, I invite you to look at Article 160 or 260 of the Constitution. It provides if a function has been created to be executed by that particular organ, it is only that organ that is capable of executing that particular function. And for the question of delegating, further delegating that particular function, cannot arise so as to say that the, Chief, the Deputy Chief Justice had the constitutional mandate to appoint this bench to adjudicate over these particular files. Your Lordship, we have put up a case that the Deputy Chief Justice has not only violated the constitution, but also violated the rights of the, uh, the petitioners to be heard under Article 50 of the Constitution. When they move to appoint a bench of this, uh, the, 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 the bench, and fail to notify the parties herein as evidence by the, the council appearing for the petitioner in petition number 14, it is just your lordship that the expediency for which it was done was so as to meet the objective of setting aside the orders that were granted by your, by the, uh, uh, your brother, Justice Mongo, and your brother, Justice Mita. Your Lordship, when you retire to make a ruling of our, our application, it is important that you pay serious attention to paragraph 12 of our affidavit, to paragraph 21, again, of the affidavit, paragraph 22, again, and also paragraph 27. As any might want to ask yourself, under Section 10 of the High Court Organizations, uh, High Court Administration and Organization Act, how and what circumstances the Chief Justice, the Deputy Chief Justice, authorize you to sit on a Saturday? Under what circumstances do the Chief Justice herself, Deputy Chief Justice herself, sit at night, in the wee hours of the night, and go the hours and constituted this bench? Your Lordship is of humble submissions. That Article 10 has only arrogated that function again exclusively to the Chief Justice. And that the Deputy Chief Justice has no power under Section 10 of the High Court Organization and Administration Act to, to, to order you or to authorize you to sit on an odd day like that or the Saturday. Your Lordship, permit me to draw your attention again to the case of Omkia Omtata. When you retire and the judgment will be highlighted by my land and friend, it is of importance, your lordship, that you look at paragraph uh, 192 of that judgment. It has given the circumstances under which the deputy chief justice can act in the absence of the, of the, of the chief justice. 
One is if the Chief Justice is indisposed, if he resigns, if he's dead, or if he's hoarded out of office. The question of leave, to which we are submitting without knowledge where, whether that is the circumstance that led to the uh, uh, allocation of powers by the Chief Justice, is not one of the grounds or reasons that the Chief Justice can exercise, uh, the Deputy Chief Justice can exercise the exclusive powers meant for the, Deputy, for the Chief Justice. Finally, your Lordship, all these environments contained in our affidavits have not been controverted by the respondents through a, a replying affidavit. They have only filed the grounds of opposition to which they shall bring to your attention the case of con uh, uh, container, which has been distinguished by the case of Okia on Tata. The grounds contained in our affidavit and lordship are uncontroverted and they must be admitted as such. I beg to rest my case. May we request uh, counsel uh, to give us a specific reference to Okio Matata has been mentioned by two counsel. He's probably the most uh, prolific litigator in the history of Kenya. So we don't know which of his many cases are you referring to. I will certainly be addressing my senior.